Hey YouTubers, uh, I do a little woodwork too. Got a pretty decent wood shop. I wanted to share with you some of my projects. This is a table. It's probably the first table I did. It's just a easy inlay. It looks more complicated than it is. Uh, that's a purple heart, winge, walnut, maple, and there's a little cherry in there. Made a nice little two-person table. It, uh, I pinned the legs on there with some cherry dials and put a little cherry trim around the bottom. You see the legs there. I thought that was a pretty little table there. Uh, I got into making uh, some cutting boards too. These cutting boards sell for pretty good money. Uh, I'm going to lay some out here let you see them. Uh, there's one. That's maple, walnut, and winge with a handle and I put a hole in the handle so you can hang them up. My wife likes to hang them up in the kitchen because they're pretty. Uh, you just cut those strips and glue them together, run it through a surfacer, sand it down. There's no finish on that, you just rub oil on it. Here's another one here. This one happens to be a chessboard and that is uh, that's winge, walnut, and maple and uh, here's one I seen a pattern like this on YouTube and that one there is a uh, it, that everybody asked did you glue all those little pieces together and guys that know know that that's not how you do it you take strips and you glue the strips together then you cut the strips and you offset them and glue them back together and it makes that checkerboard pattern no i didn't glue all those little pieces together it's really more simple than you think it would be and uh, i tell you i looked up on on the internet googled you know custom cutting boards and they sell these things for god they're proud of them they're like cutting board with that kind of design that you're looking at right now i've seen them three and four hundred dollars i wouldn't pay it but i guess there are people out there that would pay it here is another one that's a little bit bigger one. Uh, that one, it's got some darker woods in it. Uh, and they'll come out a little different. Each one will do the fact that all the woods are a little bit individualized, you know. Uh, this one here, this is a large cutting board. I want to show this one. I made this to go on the end of a countertop. I'm building my straw bale house right now. I got concrete countertops going in it. And this is going to be the last. That one there is about three foot long. So the last three foot of my countertop is going to be cutting board. There's a spoon also that I, uh, that was my attempt at a wood spoon there. Not too bad. Oh, I've done a few other projects as well. Uh, this was done on a lathe. I carved some of these spoons here. I just, I got one day I want to try. That's a baby spoon. I thought that turned out pretty good. Uh, and this one here is a, uh, tablespoon not too bad pretty easy to do I got a few other trinkets I'm gonna set on the table here and show and all the scrap that I had left over from these projects I made stuff like this out of this is a box I made to hold us playing cards pretty people like them they put I don't know jewelry in them change in them and stuff everybody I know is like oh make me a box make me a box uh, Here's one I made. It's like a little canister type. It's got the little wood lid that sits down in there, seals up nice. That's a solid piece that was drilled out of there. Uh, tried to do a fork. That's a two prong fork. Uh, I didn't want to get it any smaller. Uh, I don't think I've ever used that one, but I thought it was pretty neat. Uh, me and the wife went on vacation and went out to California and we got some seashells off the glass beach out there and some stuff to remember the vacation so I made this little box here with a plexiglass lid so that uh, she could display our uh, shells and the stuff we picked up on the beach is kind of a little keepsake from that uh, vacation a buddy of mine's into uh, bulldogs so uh, I carved that one out and put that on top of it for him uh, just some other little things knickknacks there it's a little hand I carved it 
it did have a knife in it. Uh, kid broke it. No longer with me. I kept it. And I just, that's just a little piece of random here that I started putting just different pieces together. I might make a box top out of that or something. Uh, that right there is just a little bowl that I turned. And uh, this is actually hand carved here. That's a hand carved piece out of a knot of a tree. It's a little heart with an arrow through it there. So, and then uh, I cut some of this stuff out on bandsaw too. Something that's my wife's initials. So I think that was Valentine's Day. That was a brownie points there. Well, not only do I do this woodwork like this, this is some of my woodwork here. And uh, just for a gee whiz, I'll walk down here. This chair here, I'm going to make some wood chairs and never made any before. And so that little chair there, I know it doesn't look like much, and it isn't much. But I, that's out of pine. That's out of pine, and I just cut that out of straight wood. That's two by sixes glued together and two by fours and stuff I ripped down. And it really made a pretty good little chair. Uh, I think it warrants doing it in a, in a hardwood, maybe inlaying the seat or something like that. I'm trying to go do that. I also have been doing some concrete projects. This is one of my concrete tables. I don't know if you guys are familiar with acid stain, but uh, man, it's pretty. You see all those colors that just in that? Isn't that pretty? You really just can't go wrong with them. And this edge was done with a uh, foam uh, rubber edging. And then that pedestal, I, uh, I poured in a piece of PVC pipe. So uh, really pretty easy to do. Turn them out pretty quick. Uh, just some of my other tinkering stuff. Uh, let's see. When I started making these cutting boards, the wife wouldn't uh, cut on them. I had to make this this one the less quality one so the wife would even cut on every time I bring one home she's like I can't cut on that one you have to make me another one and then uh, let's see I think uh, lastly there's a like a bigger one I made it's got the handles kind of looks like a chest on both sides neat little box we use it as a keep pictures in it's made out of three quarter inch thick hardwood lid slips on fits right over oh so this is some of my uh, this is some of my wood projects some of my concrete little concrete too I got other concrete products I plan on making another video of some of my concrete products that I also turn out uh, just want to share some of these with everybody um, thanks for watching uh, if you got any questions or uh, if anybody wants a custom cutting board, let me know. <laughs> Thank you.